I'm going to come back here and put a game camera on that tree right there. As you can see here, this has been beaten down a lot. There. This is a moose hawk in their territory. There. There's a trail that goes off this way. There's a really good trail that goes down this way. This trail here, I think, goes through there. And there's another trail coming down through there. So this is one of those pinch points that obviously they come together a lot on. And I spent some time in here last fall, so I'm going to set a game camera up there. I tried to mark where I think this is. I don't have another game camera on me. When I put one out in the field, I like to make sure I can find it again. I'm ready to put this camera out in the field. I've had the camera in the field before. But I've got a new lockbox that I'm going to use on it. But before I put it in the field, I want to camouflage it up a little bit. There we go. That's where I'm going to leave it. The tree I want to put it on is pretty dark, and so I think that's going to be good. I've come in here today to set a game camera up. I'm going to put the game camera right up there in that bald spot on the tree. I cleared that out about four weeks ago. And what's interesting about this spot is there's a trail that runs right through here. And there's a trail that comes through here and goes off over there. And this was used a lot in the rut last year. And um, I think that in this upcoming rut, we're gonna see a lot of action in here. Right now, it doesn't look like there's a ton in here. We're gonna go ahead and do this and um, you can see it's, I got it deployed. And that's the view it's going to get. The other thing I didn't point out earlier is when I first came out here, there's all these spots where the moose have dug around and marked their territory with urine. And um, so I think that this is a pretty active place come the breeding season. There we are. See, the other thing that I did here was I kind of augmented the amount of branches that would be on this tree. Just so it's hidden in there. Okay, so this is the angle that this camera um, gets. And as I showed at the very beginning of this, there's a trail that comes through here. There's a trail that goes back and forth from here to here. And there's a trail that goes through here. There's a lot of rut activity that was just directly in front of this camera. And as this um, video that you're going to watch plays, you'll see there's a lot of moose that come through here. There's one place where a bull comes in and makes a rut pit. Um, and I have that on still videos, but I put them together so it looks like um, it's kind of in motion. And you'll see just a lot of great rut, rut activity. So I think you're in for a treat. Enjoy. I started this camera off on three shot burst mode, which means it takes three pictures at a time. And so what I've done is I've put those three pictures together in most of these so it gives the illusion that there's motion. Later on when the rut gets closer, I switched this camera to video mode to capture some pretty interesting footage. We'll see that in a bit. One of the aspects that this video ends up showing is the growth of the bull's antlers during the course of the season. Some of the bulls in here are obviously new bulls as they move in and move out, but a lot of them are the same bulls that have kind of been residents in this area, so it's interesting to watch them grow as the season goes on. Over the course of the summer and the fall, I got literally thousands of shots on this camera of moose doing 
what moose do during the course of the day. I tried to limit it down to some pictures that were cute, some that showed interesting behaviors or habits. Once the rut gets going though, I left a lot of footage in there. Noises they make, behaviors they do. I personally just found it very fascinating. I hope you do too. Look in the tree line behind this bull. This is the first sequence that I really regret not having my camera in video mode. This is another sequence that I really wish my camera would have been in video mode.
Well, as luck will have it, I came in here, hiked all the way in to collect my game camera. There's a mother moose and a calf moose, probably 20 feet from it. Probably the most dangerous animal in Alaska, actually, is a mad mother moose. So, I'll have to come back another day. Okay, so when I was in here about three days ago, there were two moose, a cow and a calf, just up underneath the trees there. I'm going to go to my game camera now and take a look at my game camera. I'm going to turn this camera off. When I first came in here and set this up, I actually brought a cordless drill in. And um, that worked really slick. It's a bit of a walk in here, and so I didn't want to have to carry the extra weight. And so I brought this set up. When I first set this up and showed you set up, I said I'd augmented this with some extra branches. Let me show you a little bit about that. You can see kind of right here, there's some wire there, and there's some wire back over here, and some wire here. And so what I'd done is, the branches that I broke off of there, I stuck back up there and kind of made a little cave for that to set in, just so that it was less noticeable. Um, was it necessary? Probably not. Um, but sometimes we go overkill. Let's finish taking a look at the rest of the videos that were on this camera.
For more Alaska adventures, don't forget to subscribe.